Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone? Empowered Qs here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are going against a Mantheon in the top lane. I hate this match up. It sucks. And it sucks because there's just not a whole lot you can do. He just chucks spears at you. None of your abilities can really negate any of the damage from it. Um, and then he can just disengage you with his shield whenever he pretty much feels like it. So... We took a little bit more defensive runes. Uh, I might go something a little funky. I'm gonna rush a Jorah's Fish and Ninja, Fist and Ninja Tabby uh, because I really don't have another option uh, if I want to survive the lane. After that, though, I might go uh, Blade of the Ruling King before I finish my Triforce. That'll give me some dueling power against the Pantheon, and eventually I will get strong enough just to, to kill him. I mean, I'm a late game scaling champion. He was a skater boy. I was kind of a skater girl, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, game goes long enough, and I'm just going to wreck him eventually, so. Like I said, it's it, all about surviving the, the early laning phase. Surprise, I'm back. So, try to make him spam out some of his abilities. Back it up. Who's their jungler? Kane. Luckily, Kane isn't too big of a oppressive early game ganker. That would make this a much worse lane. So. Yeah. Back it up. Let this push. So, pretty even in CS right now, which is good. Like I said, that's, that's our goal is to stay even. And this wave is going to push out to us. So we just want to stay back in EXP lane. Uh, EXP up. range. Let it shove. Now, the only thing to keep in mind with this which kind of stinks is if Kasai would have come up for a gank, I'm really not in a position to to really assist because you don't want to leave all these minions at tower. It's just bad news bears. So we hung back and now we're back at full health. Ready to suffer some more at the hands of the Mantheon. I'm not helping you. I love you for ganking. But I have way too many uh, minions here. Oh my god, I was one HP off. Yeah. Well, that got out his flash. That was scary. Oh, uh, the quick autos are real. <laughs> so. Pantheon used all of his shit and back. So I'm going to want to push out this it's lane. Hard. Fast and then head back. So, actually, a little ahead in CS. So, that's even better. And I can look to get aggressive uh, when I come back with items because Pantheon blew his uh, ignite. So, I don't have to worry about that. Back it up. Like I said, I'm going to go Jerome's Fist first because I will eventually build a... Um, what's it called? A Sterics Gauge. Anyways, I'm also going to get the Rejuve Bead of the Tiamat. Mid lane, rocking it out. Don't know what the heck this cane is doing. All right. It's going to be a lot easier to fight Pantheon with our ultimate, too. Because the thing to think about is Pantheon's ult is really an engage tool. He doesn't really gain a super Surprise. amount from it in terms of, like, combat stats. Like, he doesn't get some ability that does something fantastic. So... We get a level 6 advantage, kind of like Jace, stuff like that, or Nidalee. Like, they don't have real level 6s, or, um, what's another example? It's Ooh, Deer is another example, that's what I was thinking of. Now, he wanted to shield smash me and deny me that cannon, he was pretty stupid for not doing that. Uh, they increased actually the value of cannon minions, so they're worth a lot more now, too. Okay. Yeah. 
I gotta be careful. Because he has the uh, execute ability. An ally has been slain. So this mission minions, uh, this wave is gonna push out, so I'm actually just gonna back here and get a cloth armor. Whoop! Gonna wait it out then. Cause he's gonna kill all these minions anyways. After this wave crashes, I'll back. Stay in the XP range. Perfect. I just saw Kane, so I'm not really too worried about getting dough. Time to leave. That's gonna give me a better buy, anyways. Don't do a Pantheon. What if I can bait him? Once my E is up. Dumbass. Oh, his ignite got me. What a you dick. I'll take it though. I'll take it. Teleport back to lane. So down in CS, but like I said, I'm I'm gonna come out way ahead anyways. Um through my scaling. Because we're going to get to the point pretty soon here where Pantheon isn't going to be able to fight me. So I'll push this wave in. Might be able to make a roam mid. Pantheon's level 8. Ideally, he, sh he wants to be looking to make a jump play somewhere on the map. So I want to push Ready. tower. That way he's forced to show himself. Either jump back to lane. Um... Any of those kinds of things. So there he is. So I can do a little roam action here. Check to see if... Oh. Bring it on. Echo has alt, so that's kind of a tough lane to gank. Grab this here. Get some stuff done around the map. That wave is going to push out anyways. Get some mana. Okay. It's on. Once in a while, you have to do a little test of your damage. So I'm going to push this in. Look at that. I thought I had my, uh, my E up. I did not. I think someone's having technical difficulties. Would you uh, stop? That'd be great. And get a pot. Let me add him. Cool. Hmm, the bot lane is in team. Surprise. Well, at least mid's doing well. Pretty even in CS 2 to 1. See the jungler. So I know I can be aggressive up top. No, Pantheon's Ignite's gonna be up soon. An enemy has been slain. Good stuff there. I can kill him here. Yep. Got him. So, saw him use his little spear move, his AoE one that shoots it up front. Um, good opportunity to attack him because that's a big source of Pantheon's damage. So the spears are more for chucking at you to whittle you down and uses that to kind of burst you down. So as soon as he used that on the minion wave, I knew I could engage. I had just gone back and bought, so I knew I had an item advantage. I can get a little bit of pressure on this tower, but we got to be wary of Pantheon to jump. But if he jumps back to lane here, he can't jump back to some sort of uh, lane and make a play. So... As soon as we see the Pantheon jump, we got a piece out. That or he jumps to a lane and we get some more free damage on the tower. We gotta be careful he doesn't jump behind us or something crazy. Push this last wave in. 
Not worth messing with. Yep. All... See you later, idiot. Burned his flash. <laughs> and yeah, flash. Alright, so I can get my Jorm's fist here. And my uh, Ninja Tabby. Uh, I can't get my Ninja Tabby. Enemy double kill. Well, that's good. I hate to already sell my, uh, my refill arena, but I think it's going to be worth it. So Kane's fetish, shit. Um, but, once again, I super scale. So I'm not super duper worried about it. If Kane is the only fed one... Pantheon MIA could be doing some jump action. So once again, I want to just push wave. Usually I like to freeze, but against Pantheons, I like to just shove. Ready for battle. Plus the tower is really low, so if I can get first blood tower. Cool. See if there's a plant. Might be able to grab. Yeah. Surprise. I think there's a plant right here. Right awesome. Back. Nice. Perfect. Get back to this minion wave. Don't know where Pantheon went. Bring it on. Shove the wave in. If I also shove the wave, that means you can't be using spears to poke me. I see Kane down that side. Back and up. Okay. Gonna start working on my uh, Trinity Force finally. Well, this is a good sign. I have TP to make a play bottom if I can. Let me Come with that. Might actually have been okay to TP. I initially didn't TP because the Draven was going to die too quick. But. Same deal, don't know where Pantheon is, so get the lane Ready shoved. Battle. Create some pressure for my team. It might be worth it just go hand for it. Yep. Like I said, I reached that point where Pantheon just can't do anything about me. I tanked through the tower and all of his damage, still killed his dumb ass. So as long as you can survive long enough in the lane, then... Man, I wish I had some health. Ooh! It's worth. That Sivir's definitely gonna die. Draven should definitely have that. We'll grab that. And head back. Use your speed boost. One more axe! You got it, buddy! Oh, nice. I thought for sure he got messed up by that exhaust. I'm gonna be a little cheeky and steal Surprise. the um I'm back. What's it called? The chickens. Oh shit. He doesn't have ultimate, does he? Nope, he does not. <laughs> well I guess I don't need to farm uh birds. Pressure this tower. Uh and if you had egg anyways, which is the funny part that he went so ham for that. <laughs> Baited by the bird. I'm just gonna keep going. What an idiot. <laughs> and he had egg. <laughs> that king was not killing him, so. Well, head back to top lane. And like I said, not worried at all about this Pantheon anymore. Uh, cause he really can't fight me anymore. I'm just gonna 
Pantheon just altered. Oh, I'm uh, doing with, with my duo in with my buddy Odin right here. He's the crazy bird doing the dance. Mark, mark. Mark, mark. Bring it on. Wave out. Nice. No more idea where Pantheon is. I have teleports need me though. Nope. We got the. Awesome. I'm pretty confident I could probably 2v1 in the Pantheon and the Kane, but I'm going to look to probably try and steal some jungle here, start trying to hit Surprise. Kane that way. All right, nothing here. I can get a nice deep ward up here. No birds. We see Kane. So I can come around on this Pantheon. Come at me, bro. Come at me. You won't do it. Alright. Cool. Come over here and steal some jungle. I see a crazy bird over here. <laughs> bird! So, Kane's red is going to be coming up soon, so he should be heading to this uh, side jungle pretty soon here. So I'm gonna hang out with uh, Odin right here. Maybe maybe we get an idiot pantheon. Nope, he's back and he's not back. Ready for battle. Oh, close. Whoa. <laughs> eh. <laughs> back it up, back it up. Man, there was a spot to teleport to. We should try and pressure this uh, wave. I feel like tier two is better anyways. I'm gonna try and steal Kane's red. He just backed. It's a little risque, but I am Jack, so I take this stuff incredibly quickly. Little love tap by the bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll got enough for my Triforce here. And I uh, think I'm going to work on finishing my Sterix first. So I can go finish Sterix, Titanic, and then go Rage Blade. Uh, the Titanic's just great for the raid, for the um, wave clear. It gives me the extra health, which is going to be good. Um, so I think I want that more than the Rage Blade. The other problem is, too, is it's hard to really build up a lot of auto attacks it's against on. Pantheon because of his disengage. And King can just go inside me as well. So I don't think that'll be as useful in the long run, but... It'll be useful eventually for the supreme kind of split push. I'm gonna take more of this jungle. We just saw Kane, so keep vision up here. We still got that control ward right there. We got vision up here by this turret. We see Kane, so I'm not really too worried about him. I don't know what happened to Pantheon. Kane's coming up for me. You know I said I think I can uh, 2v1? I can. <laughs> oh, he backed out. Well, that works anyways. He was going to get stunned and die, so... I think uh, we're a little bit strong. Yeah, like I said, I mean, post like level 7, 8, Pantheon falls off really hard. So as long as you can survive the early game, and that's the trick against any of those bad kind of ranged matchups, is to just survive the lane and you outscale them hardcore. So, I'm gonna back here, I can get my Sterics and start building towards my Titanic. That's gonna give me even more survivability against their burst. Bring it on. 
Like I said, I had a feeling I did not need the uh, the extra damage against them, so... I mean, the Rage Blade would have helped me kill the Pantheon a little bit faster. Help out this Draven. Dumbass, he's so mad. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bullshit. Nice. Free dragon. Then we can start pressuring for Baron. Steel blue. Let Draven have it, that's fine. I'm gonna chuck for wolves, maybe take that. Let's do it! Dun, dun, dun. I think I have enough for my Titanic. No, 19, I'm a couple hundred off. Oh, it was 15. So, 300 more gold. So we want to start pressuring for Baron. I can start this split push bottom. Oh there. Nice exhaust. He's dead. Cool. Pantheon run! <laughs> I think we just Baron. Because their jungler's dead, so they can guarantee the Baron. But it seems, uh. Because I'd rather just kill herself. Interesting choice. Yeah, they have too much disengage. Severe, Sivir ultimate, Nami ultimate, like, just take the free Baron. Like, well, we're still set up just fine for, uh, if I go bottom, uh, top lane is going to automatically keep pushing due to the lack of inhibitor. So I want to try and drag opponents to the bottom part of the map. Um, the situation really hasn't changed. If Pantheon shows up, I just kill him. Um... Kane as well. The only time that I feel like that I die is if I get two CC down. So I'm just gonna push this this wave in. Um, my TP's not up for a little bit yet, so I gotta be careful. Let my team know that. So if a fight does break out at Baron, so that's good. More jungle. See if they can at least get vision on Baron. Gotta be careful because I don't see all their team. I see Pantheon and Nami. See if I can get Ford up here. Let me hide in Gank Bush. I doubt she comes up here. Pantheon has to keep taking care of Top Wave. Need to go cl collapse on Echo. I can collapse this way. And then all of our team is up, so we should just Baron. Oh there. Man, I forgot how long we can travel. Walk towards me. I can't jump over the wall. I tried. We have Draven. We have enough damage. Just get the freaking Baron. I'm gonna start attacking it. Like, I have enough damage. There we go. Uh. This Draven is so boosted. He's making this so much harder than it has to be. Collect these, and I'm probably gonna go back bottom. My teleport's gonna be up, so I can get 
get my recurve bow. It's going to be really hard for them to engage on our team uh, with Anivia. She just has awesome wave clear. So they can just siege. Maybe they actually should siege top uh, and just get the inhibitor. Top inhib, rotate mid after. I push butt. Who's next? And they should wait for Draven. Not that he's gonna listen. Nice. It's on. Cool. I think they'll be fine. Oh, that was a terrible ward. Whoopsies. I think I need 13, 14. Gotta be careful I don't see anyone. This is a little risky. Back it up. Ready for battle. Alright, cool. Go top. <laughs> Honestly, even if they finish pushing mid at this point, that's fine. As long as I can push up. I got that siege pretty well. Nice. Look for the engage. I could just force this. Pop my, uh... Oh my gosh. Sorry, my phone just went off. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> nice hard carry there. My boy Odin did pretty damn fantastic as well. That full stacks on Bird. Besides that boosted Draven, a uh, really, really good game. So just out split push the Pantheon really easily. Like I said, once we get past level 7 or 8, um, and we kept forcing him back to lane by pushing the wave as well, so that's, like I said, a really good counter technique against champions, you know, like Pantheon that could automatically roam. Um, that would work, you know, also if you're fighting against a, like, Shen, uh, keeping him at turret, and if he leaves turret, that allows you to push and get first turret and make plays that way. So, just a couple things to keep in mind. Cool. Happy day. Uh, but yeah, I think super good game. Let's check out uh, damage here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I did get a request from someone to talk about my runes a little bit more too. So I talked about them a little bit in the beginning, but um, these four are pretty standard. So I'm probably not going to talk about them very much unless um, I change something up. Triumph and Coup d'Etat standard conqueror i pretty much always take the extra ad at the beginning it's just awesome plus the conversion to true damage um if anyone builds any kind of armor i feel like it ends up being super useful you could have potentially argued press the attack because they were all super squishy but i i mean i feel like i get a ton out of my conqueror so i'm usually not too uh, too worried about it and then i had to go resolve tree with uh second wind and bone planting the bone planting helps take damage when it's more than one attack so if it's the three you know pantheon spears in a row his e ability um that'll help against that and the second wind q damage also helps against that so well, i hope you guys enjoyed that one make sure you tune in next time don't forget to like share subscribe all that good jazz check out the info as well for my twitch info come hang out with me while we record and it'll be a jolly good time. Uh, well, take it easy, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Peace.